Joining me live in the Perth studio now is the Shadow Defence Minister, Andrew Hasty. Thanks so much for your time. Good to be with you. Now, I might ask you first for a comment on this visit of the Indonesian president. This relationship 20 to 30 years ago was pretty tense. It seems to be going from strength to strength now. That's, that's right. And the coalition welcomes this uh, visit. It's great to see the, the Albanese government building on the foundations that uh, we laid over the last five years or so with the free trade agreement and the compre comprehensive strategic partnership that we established with Indonesia. So building the, the ties at the political, diplomatic, military level, but also business and people-to-people -people ties are really important. And if you believe the spin out of government, AUKUS is not a, as big a source of tension with the Indonesian regime as it was initially. Uh, do, do you believe that? Is that a relief for you, if that's the case? No, that's right. And, and the coalition government did a lot of work in the region to come alongside our partners and explain what AUKUS meant, that it was about our security, but also their security, a net contribution to the regional security. And I think the Indonesians have heard that message and it's good to see that this visit's going ahead in the way, it is, the way that it is. For a long time, you've been saying in party room forums and the like that there needs to be a bipartisan parliamentary committee overseeing AUKUS in the same way we've, ha we've had that Intelligence and Security Committee you were on. But you haven't had much luck there, have you? Uh, not yet, but I'm, I'm confident that Richard Miles has heard the message. I think it's really important that, given the, the long-term multi-generational task that AUKUS is, that we have the parliament uh, working together, passing all the necessary legislation to enliven the regulatory framework legislative framework for AUKUS. We need to be sovereign ready, which means by 2030, we need to be able to own, operate, maintain, regulate and dispose of a nuclear reactor. And to do that, we've got to work across the aisle. And that's why a committee is the best way to do it, modelled on the Intelligence Committee, which has yielded great results for our country. Has Richard Miles spoken to you about this then? I've is... written to Richard, I've spoken to him. <laughs> and we've just seen Julian Hill um, in the Joint Foreign Affairs, Defence and Trade uh, hand down a report recommending the establishment of a defence committee with statutory power. Now, Julian is of the left in the Labor Party, mm. so to have him on the same sheet of music as me sends a pretty strong signal to the Minister for Defence and also the Prime Minister that this is a good move. Peter Dutton was pretty critical about the amount of military aid that the Australian government recently announced for Ukraine. Are you hoping for a further announcement at NATO? Look, I think what they delivered was too little, too late. Uh, it was a bit of a headline... And a lot of the equipment was scraped out of the defence boneyard, uh, the old M113s. I have Vietnam veterans an hour down the freeway who served in those same vehicles, uh, albeit not the updated ones, of course, the upgraded ones that we're sending, but served in the same vehicles 60 years ago. Um, and, of course, I think the Bushmaster is a great vehicle. It's battle-proven, and they've asked for it. Now, there's a real opportunity for us as a country to really uh, uplift our defence industry, and we can do that by supporting Ukraine. And the net benefit for us as well is that we get our industry going, we create more jobs, and uh, we build our, our own stocks and inventory. So this is an opportunity, and it also sends a Do you expect something at NATO? Well, let's see. I don't know. I hope so. Uh, we've made our views pretty clear. Can, can you see the position of the government in relation to not providing Hawkeye vehicles, that there are concerns, or not really? Well, uh, th there are concerns around the Hawkeye, and I've been briefed on those. Um, but my, our view is that we should be investing in defence industry and producing world-class munitions, not going to the boneyard and sending our old um, inventory over to Ukraine. We should be producing new stuff. And it sends an important signal to the US and the UK that we are serious about AUKUS, that we are investing in defence industry, and um, they're not placing a wild bet on us to deliver submarines in the timelines that we've committed to. 